Welcome to the Falkland Islands and thank you for showing an interest in our overseas vacancies. My name is John and I'm the hospital manager here at the King Edward VII Memorial Hospital. Together with my colleague, Chief Medical Officer Dr Becky Edwards, we'd like to show you what it's like to live and work on the Falklands. The Falkland Islands are a group of islands in the South Atlantic Ocean about 400 miles from South America. An area of outstanding natural beauty and open landscapes with abundant wildlife. So whether it's elephant seals, dolphins, mammals, or our most famous residents are five species of penguins, there's absolutely the chance to see wildlife up close in its natural environment. But it's not just our natural landscape that makes the place special. We're also a small, close-knit community where people still look out for each other and lost or misplaced items tend to make their way back to their rightful owner. In the capital Stanley, there are also plenty of interest groups, sports activities and volunteering opportunities so that you can be as busy or as quiet in your social time as you'd like to be. We're often asked by potential applicants about the climate in the Falkland Islands. In fact, the Falkland Islands receive significantly less rainfall than southern England and more hours of sunshine per annum. Although we are a small island group in the middle of the ocean, so naturally it can be a bit windy here at times. Our winters in general are relatively mild and any snow or ice tends to only last a day or two at a time. Our hospital located here is the only one in the Falkland Islands. We offer an under one roof model of service delivery. That means that all aspects of secondary and primary care are all provided in the same building. This includes services such as dental and pharmacy. This allows us to offer joined up multidisciplinary healthcare. By working closely together, we can see patients through their treatment plans and develop strong relationships and get to know patients on an individual level. It's the kind of healthcare that many healthcare professionals would have signed up for and have been hoping to deliver in their career. Um, obviously because we run the full spectrum of services here in the, the Falklands it's impossible to uh, be able to have local recruitment for all, all areas because we have a, a, a wide range of professionals working in the whole department. So ranging from doctors and nurses with our, our doctor staff who uh, are expected to undertake uh, secondary care as well as primary care, um, some of us do obstetrics as well, clearly that's quite a spectrum of experience and so we will be happy to employ people um, from pretty much anywhere as long as they have a qualification that is recognised as being transferable potentially to the United Kingdom. So if you could gain registration with the General Medical Council and you're up to date and you have regular um, appraisals or equivalents, then that is, is fine to come and work here. Likewise with our nursing staff, you don't have to be a British citizen and a British passport holder to work here. Um, however, we set our standards for professional care at NHS standards as a rule of thumb. So likewise for nursing staff, if you uh, have qualifications that are transferable into the NHS or the UK system, that helps considerably. From primary care to operating department practitioners to the casualty staff who run in A&E to our community care staff, ward staff, you name it, we've got nursing staff working across the um, spectrum. We have uh, uh, allied health professionals as well from our CPN department, our pharmacists, our dental team, uh, to our speech and language therapists, uh, physiotherapists. We're looking for radiographers who can undertake ultrasound and CT and plain film work. So we have a, we have a selection of staff that we'd be interested in trying to, to speak to and reach out to. In addition, we've got our engineering team who again have to undertake uh, a, a wide spectrum of work, whereas normally they might only work in a particular part of hospital engineering. We are expecting our teams to cover all aspects of hospital engineering from maintenance um, as well as development of services. So it's not just maintaining equipment, it is also making sure that our register of equipment is kept up to date and that we're replacing equipment regularly and that the, the equipment we have is safe and fit for purpose and always looking for new developments, how are we going to progress and grow our service. 
Um, and then social services, we have uh, quite a uh, active small social services department uh, and likewise again if you're UK qualified and trained that's great that will be a head start but that's not a uh, reason not to apply uh, the key question you'd need to ask yourself is is my qualification from my home likely to be transferable to the NHS and seen as an equivalent and if so please feel free to contact us and we'd be delighted to talk to you about employment opportunities. Another one of our very important services is occupational therapy. We have an uh, ageing population like most uh, Western populations um, and we're growing this service. It's uh, growing all the time. Uh, we are uh, finding new ways and looking at new um, uh, services to deliver a better level of care to our elderly and vulnerable populations. And again, in occupational health services in the islands, people are expected to work with children right across the age spectrum through to the elderly. One of the exciting things about working in the Falkland Islands is the spectrum of work that we have to undertake. We have to deal with everything that comes in the door. So whether you're an engineer or a social worker or an occupational therapist um, or you're one of our um, 0 to 19 service nurses who work with the children and, and uh, young adults, the spectrum and the different types of work that you deal with here is unique. You won't get this work experience, this type of um, access to all sorts of problems that anywhere else in the world. There's very few places where you have to deal with whatever comes in your door. That can be in equal measures interesting and challenging. Um, it certainly keeps the job and your brain active because you have to stay on top of current practices and thinking um, across, across the board. So I find that one of the best things about working here and I think it's, it's, um, it's certainly been a draw for, for me to, to come home and, and work here. And I know that the people that do work here enjoy that as well. You don't find yourself in a rut. You will certainly be exposed to things that you've probably not had to deal with before in your professional career. So yes, we, we, um, we've got a great little team here. Obviously, it's a busy hospital providing everything that a, a country might need um, under one roof. So we do have to work collaboratively. We do have to work well as a team. It's very important that we have good communication. We all rely on everybody else. Nobody knows everything, but we can usually find somebody who knows enough to help us out. So it's really important that we continue to work as this tight little team. And I have to say, it seems to work well under uh, this roof in this department. Uh, we have um, all sorts of people with different backgrounds and different experiences. And the amount you can learn from your peers and colleagues is, is really amazing here. And I've not experienced that working elsewhere either. So yeah, great place to come and work. Um, and the Falklands itself is a, is a lovely place to, to live. Um, it's safe, it's clean, um, lovely place for children, lots of wildlife. Um, we don't have the levels of crime or, or, or poverty that you might see elsewhere in the world. It is um, a, a lovely environment and if you're prepared to get out and explore the islands, you'll have a great time. There's so much wildlife, there's so much to see. Don't come to the Falklands and just stay in Stanley because the Stanley is just the tiniest little bit of this massive archipelago of islands. And really, of course I'm biased, but it is one of the most beautiful places uh, to come to. A lot of people pay a lot of money to come and visit us here. So living here and working here is actually a real privilege. So hopefully that's piqued your interest in the Falkland Islands. The web address below contains information about the Falkland Islands and a list of our current vacancies. However, if you're a healthcare professional, social worker or engineer and you don't see a current vacancy listed and you'd like to know about future or upcoming opportunities, then please get in touch at the below email address. Thank you.